The Sigh by Edmund Blunden The June evening is almost over. The rosy light fades from the oaks, and from the willows the voices of doves are ceasing. Out of the nettles that hide the angler's lair comes one talking to himself. It seems natural in this light, with the bats wheeling capriciously in the air. We follow him and his wicker basket along the footpath separating the wood and weed from plantations of young fruit trees newly fenced with tall tarred stakes. His walk and ours emerges into a lane, and he goes into a large white house with a quince tree by its gate, outpost to a few thatched cottages, an alehouse, a workshop, and a duck pond with the ducks asleep along the shore. We envy him the wide diamonded window where he will be sitting a little later to enjoy the look and presence of the night. The time is happy and serene. The darkness, not that forbidding shroud which falls so often when there is no moon, but sweetly awake, luminous, the far-stealing dawn seems already to be glancing on the horizon of rounded hills and rising orchards. At times from the woods by the river, or woods by the rivers of another world, a sigh passes through the element, and dimly answered by our trees for a brief moment is lessening away towards the horizon. We may fancy in such a light that it is the spirit of the wild cherries among the woods by the river, communing with their kindred sheltered here about the hamlet. The small, childlike complaint of birds awakened in fear is still again. And to us, the hawthorn thickets round cattle waterings far away at the end of the pastures are made as clear as though seen at noonday by the eclogues of nightingales. Then comes your little unsuspecting owl to alight on the gate and at last discovers us. The pheasants clamour the fox's bark, do not destroy this world of dewy tranquillity. The whistle of the trains on the main line comes transformed into a voice of reverie. The rushing wheels only send us a murmur, like the song of the little waterfall below this gloom of fragrant interweaving boughs.